guys, it's Mina and Baxter. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring <laughs> pouring episode. Um, I just wanted to show you how big he's gotten. He's uh, kind of heavy now. <laughs> Say hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Okay, go play. You want your toy? Break out the secret weapon. Yeah, the secret weapon is the Kong with the cheese spray inside. Hey, Bax. Come here. There you go. Good boy. Okay, <laughs> welcome back. Um, tonight we are gonna be doing a black base coat, which I haven't played with in a very, very long time. And I wanna do a straight pour, but kind of move around a little bit. I don't wanna just go from corner to corner in a very linear fashion. This is a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas from Arteries, Art, Arteries Loft. <laughs> from Artist Loft. No. I have taped the back and put the push pins in, and I have painted the canvas with my Amsterdam lamp black. Um, when you do this, don't mix the paint, just paint it right straight from the tub, because you want it to be nice and solid and you know opaque. So that's our canvas. Let me show you the color palettes, because these are really pretty. The first one we are using is Golden's Iridescent Pearl, with a little bit of my DecoArt Satin Enamels put in there just to increase the opacity so it's not quite so transparent. Okay, nothing's real, real, real thick tonight. Tonight everything is mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and the paint and some Floetrol. So that's Golden's Iridescent Pearl. And then we have Amsterdam Greenish Blue. You all know how much I love this color. So pretty. And I have kept that pearl a little bit thicker than everything else because I don't want it to blend too much and turn everything very pale. I want ribbons of white, not washed out everything else. The next one we're using, I love this color, Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. Just beautiful. So shimmery and gorgeous. A very happy color. I love this. Okay, that's the Artist Loft. Then we have... Amsterdam Light Turquoise, which is this one, and in my experience, this color, this sort of teal color, takes over. <laughs> so this is another one that I have mixed pretty thick because I don't want it to spread too much. I don't want it to take over and get bossy, so I'm probably going to use thinner layers of this one. And next one we're using is Pebio Studios Iridescent Gold. And this is such a beautiful color, and it dries so shiny and metallic. Remember, HOA, you use this one in your pour, and hot HOA's rod. bitchin' hot rod flames. <laughs> so it doesn't sell very much, but it does leave a beautiful gold color, which I really want. And I'm not really looking for cells tonight, so that's our gold. And then last but not least is my Amsterdam Lamp Black. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, so what we're going to do, get this out of the way. Go up there. Okay, for a 24 by 24 inch canvas, we need 21 ounces of paint. These are 16 ounce cups, so I'm going to layer one full and then one about six or seven ounces. So let's get started. We're going to start in the bottom. I'm going to do the first one first. We're going to start with some black, not a real thick layer. Where's the dog? I heard him. <laughs> HOA was saying we need to put a bell on him or something because he's silent and stealthy. Um, ninja dog. Yeah, ninja dog. <laughs> Next, we're going to come in with the metallic cobalt blue. And then some of our gold. The Pevio Studios iridescent gold. And a little bit of white. And then some of our light turquoise. I hear him. What's he got? <laughs> a leaf or something, a stick. He was so happy he found a big a stick that had fallen off the tree. He was like, oh, I got a stick. <laughs> that was when we were playing soccer earlier. We have an old soccer ball that kind of flat, but he loves it. It's perfect for him because he can bite it. And he just like jumps and runs and pounces on it. And <laughs> it's hilarious. Okay, so that's our bluish green. I'm going to come back to the black again. 
And then we're going to put actually a layer of gold this time. And then that metallic cobalt. And some white. The pearl, excuse me. And the light turquoise. And then the greenish blue. So everything is contrast. Light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. Okay. I'm gonna put some black on top of that. All right. So there's one cup. Now, all right. So this is my base coat one, and I might need to. No, that's a lot thinner. Okay, that's good. All right. So we're gonna spread this out, and I am gonna pour it along the top. So I have I painted the edges and sides because because it's a black a black base coat I don't want white peeking through which is why I painted it and then it looked weird to just have that perimeter so I just painted the top of it also so we're gonna spread this out I think the last time was when you did uh, you use like the pagoda, what I would call pagoda colors pagoda is that, colors? That, that brick red with gold and black. Oh, I think that was Charm. The ring pour one. Yeah, really cool. Maybe, yeah. I'm impressed that you remember him. <laughs> okay. All right. That's looking pretty good. My edges are already painted, so I'm just going to go over them with my finger really, really quick just to make sure it's smooth on there. But we are going to be going over the edge, so I'm not really worried about it. This is just to smooth things out. pretty good. All right. I just want to go over it this way just a touch just to see if we have any of these lines want to move around. Not going to be an issue. All right. So the last few straight pours I've been doing, I've been pretty much going from one corner to the next. Some of them was because I wanted to leave the negative space. Some of them it was because it was a rectangular canvas and that seemed to make the most sense. But tonight I kind of want to dance around a little bit. So Let's pour this cup and then we'll layer another one and see how it goes. Are you ready, HOA? What are you going to do? I'm going to start like over here. And I'm probably going to go around in kind of an S shape. Put your hand there. Alright. Can you see that little cell on top of the flag? <laughs> Alright. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Eyelash, Semper Paretus. Here we go. One of the really cool things about using the black in the pour is that it actually gives you that illusion of negative space. Within the pour itself. clean cup. I'm going to scoop this over. Okay, we're going to do pretty much the same thing, but only about half of that. So we're going to start with some black. I'm going to put some gold in next. I'm come in with the metallic cobalt. A layer of white. And the light turquoise, greenish blue, and another layer of black. Okay. I think I'm going to turn this around. 
I'm gonna kind of go maybe this way a little bit. Maybe like right here. Are you ready, husband? Of Austin? Okay, here we go. this effect of that like darker black space and then all the cells start coming up through there. This is really, really pretty. Okay, let's torch this. Where's El Dago? Behind me, I think. Okay. Don't get scared, Baxter. that I got some white on that corner, so I'm just gonna go over this with some black right now because I don't want white on that corner. Okay, let's see. We're gonna hook that over that edge first. something to slide on nice and easy. Instead of eating the composition. See, that's much better. I'm going to let that just roll off that right to the edge. And hopefully we won't lose a lot of that fingerling action, which is really pretty. float down. And at this point we're getting close to having the canvas covered so I don't really need to put more paint on here because I do want to stretch out what is here. So at this point, I like this top section better than I like that bottom section, and I wouldn't mind at all opening this up and even if that gets tilted up. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to just let it go straight down 
and that's going to open up all of these lines up here and stretch everything out and give any opportunity for any cells that want to pop up to pop up. This is pretty, I like it. I love these colors, such a relaxing, pretty palette. See, as we stretch this in that black section, we're going to start to get more cells. You think we need to take off one of that each way? Yeah, we do. A bit. Try to keep that gold from going off. Yeah. Keep but that we glare. can lose most of that. Take it back to the center just a little bit. And move the weight of the paint down to this area because I want to lose more of this and less of this. So now it's about here. This is really pretty though. I just I love that what's going on up there. Moving down nice and easy now. I don't mind if we keep a little bit of them in there. stretch out again. That was really cool. What do you think, you Joy? Yeah, it's really cool. It's bitching. <laughs> this part. Do I like it or do I not like it? I think I like it. Pretty awesome, I think. What do you think, Gaisha? Are you happy? Mm -hmm. Okay. The side's a little too stretched out, or it looks good? Looks good. Looks good. I'm going to take it down a little bit more if it will. Open up this top a little bit more. Compress some of that bottom just a little bit. Okay, 
Yeah, that's pretty. I love how there's this like flow in there. That's really cool. This is beautiful where that iridescent cold is on top of the black. That's really cool. Okay, let's torch this one more time. Touch up edges if they need it, and then I think we're going to be done with this one. And this is why you always mix up a little bit more paint than you're going to need, just so that you have the opportunity at the end to come in and fix anything that needs fixing. Well, that's pretty cool. I love these colors. I love the metallic cobalt. I love that um, the dark greenish blue is really, really pretty. The white mixing with that light turquoise is beautiful. I love the iridescent gold and I like the black. So I'm really happy with this. I love all the little cells that are popping up through there. I love all those fingerlings, how they're still really compressed and tight. I like all of this, so this is really cool. I will show you guys this one when it's dry. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight. We'll see you in a minute. Okay, so this is a few days later now and it's totally dry. <laughs> I'm so happy with how this turned out. I love it. This was our 24 by 24 wandering straight pour. Actually, double, double wandering straight pour because we did two cups. Just look at this black base coat. This metallic cobalt blue is so pretty in here. With a little bit of the white and the gold. All these amazing little fingerlings, but my favorite part is definitely in here. With all those beautiful stripy cells popping up. Some gorgeous depth in here on these lines. Very pretty colors. A little bit of a cloudy effect going on. Some really cute cells. Beautiful. I really like this one a lot. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for being here. Um, I'm so excited to share this surprise, which is the Fluid Art Experience in Dallas, happening November 12th and 13th. Sarah Mack, Karen Dershin, Kathleen from Cause Creations, myself, and Lee and Jeremy Massey will be teaching live lessons. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be an amazing, amazing time. So I'm really looking forward to this also. And I uh, hope you guys can join us.
But this is awesome. I'm super happy with this piece. And uh, see you guys in a couple days. So um, HOA is going in for knee surgery tomorrow. So I will do my best to get a video out for you guys on Friday. Uh, if it doesn't quite work out, I do ask for your patience. I will get to them as soon as I can. We have shot a bunch of things. I just need to edit. But my priority is always taking care of my husband and my kids. So I thank you guys for your patience so much. And thank you all for all of you who've reached out and left messages for HOA. It means a lot to us. You guys are amazing. So I will post updates on my community tab and on my Facebook page to let you guys know how everything's going. And uh, we'll see you real soon. Thank you so much for being here with us. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye-bye.